Hello my marvellous sausages, it's time for another Legend Lost Sector and today is the Scavenger's Den and it's going to be rewarding the arms today which is really handy if you're hunting down your Titan arms which is exactly what I'm doing. The Titan arms are of course called the uh, Point Contact Cannon Brace, these babies here. So this is a good one to run, it's not that big, it's taken me about 5 minutes to do it. There are faster Lost Sectors out there but this one isn't bad at all to run. Now it's located here in the EDZ, look just in the outskirts. If you're having trouble finding it, just stick a little label on it like that and follow the marker when you come into the Trost Land because it's kind of tucked around in the corner here, right down here. So let's have a look at the modifiers. There's limited revives, of course, and there's the locked loadout match game and extra shields as is normal. We've got barrier and overload champions in this. We've got arc shields and we've got a solar burn, so 50% extra solar damage dealt and received. And we've also got scorched earth as well. Scorched earth, which means that enemies throw grenades significantly more often often the git. So let's have a quick look at my loadout. Now because it's a solar burn I'm running a, a solar subclass. I'm running my Sunbreaker here. Aspect wise I'm going for Roaring Flames and I'm going for Sol Invictus creating those sunspots which are very very handy for regenerating your abilities. Fragments wise I've got Ember of Combustion, I've got Ember of Char, Ember of Eruption and I've also got Ember of Ashes as well. Basically I'm looking to make more Scorched and more Ignitions as possible to spread the killing love. Now let's have a look at armor. Now I'm not running any exotics at all here so this build should be able to get you through but if you've got it run your Laurel Lee Splendor Helm because that's just going to give you so much more help in order to get through it by saving your lives by dropping down a healing sunspot which is very nice. So ignoring that nice little baby there let's go and have a look at what I've got on my helmet. It's a solar helmet so I'm going for bountiful wells so I get two elemental wells. I'm trying to generate as many elemental wells as I can with this build uh, and then I've got a machine gun ammo finder, I've gone for scout and sniper rifle targeting and I've gone for a discipline mod as well. I'm running 103 resilience you can see there because that'll reduce my incoming damage by 40%. You want to tart your resilience up as much as possible. Right for my arms, let's have a little look here. I've gone for well of life of course so when I pick up one of those babies I get some health regeneration. My anti-barrier mod is going to be for my scout rifle. I'm not sticking in an overload mod simply because I'm running my Thunderlord. I can show you it out here look. And that's already got uh, overload, anti-overload built in with overload rounds. So I'm not really worrying about that. That's my exotic. Everybody should have this or a lot of people should have the Thunderlord. Because it was in our nice little chest at the beginning of the season, wasn't it? If you bought the season pass. So there we go. There's the Thunderlord that I'm running there. So I don't need to run any overload mod in here. But of course, if you're not running the Thunderlord and you're taking another machine gun, run with overload machine gun because it's very nice indeed. And then I've also gone for a disciplined mod as well to chuck grenades. Uh, what do I have here on my chest plate. Now I'm going for as much resistance as possible. So I'm going for thermal shock plating which is a uh, solar and arc resistance twice over. I've gone for melee well maker so whenever I hit people with my hammer they'll spew out two wells and I've gone for a resilience mod there as well. On my booties I've gone for second resilience mod but I've also gone for reloading my machine gun, my Thunderlord even though it's already got that built in because I've actually got the catalyst it's quite handy to have because I can reload when it's stowed and then I've got the machine gun scavenger as well for dropping more ammo and I've gone for elemental ordnance for getting wells when I kill things with grenades. Now for the class item I've gone for double bomber so I get ability energy back when using my grenade. I've gone for explosive well maker which gives me more wells with explosions and I've gone for a minor resilience mod there too. Weapons wise like I said I've gone for a scout so I've got my tears of contrition in there for taking out the anti-barrier shields. Secondly I've gone for my callous mini tool because it's got incandescent. I'd go for a solar weapon in there if I were you because of the solar damage you were taking advantage of it and using that one the absolute most and the incandescent spreads the old destructive love as well and then like I said of course I've got my Thunderlord which is brilliant for the overload champions and hits really hard too. So we're all set up in a bloody gory fashion let's go and do the run and see how we do. Ah uh, here we go across the thing and we're off three rooms basically we've got in here so this first room we've got a bunch of dregs we've also got uh, an overload champion and we've got an anti-barrier git face as well so try and take as many of these smeg heads out as you can I'd advise you to jump up here and start fighting from here you've got a marauder you get a few dregs and then you'll get the uh, barrier champion coming up the hill here dirty barrier champion Kill these gits to get some of this and some of that, creating sunspots. There's lovely, and you can see the uh, barrier servitor down there. They're very irritating. These guys run around behind you. Watch out for the vandals. 
Now you can sometimes get as well a vandal standing up the top there. You saw he just jumped down and tried to attack me, the swine. But there's a vandal up here sometimes. Oh, there he is, look. Take him out. He's a huge pain in the arse. He'll be snipering you all the time. It's very, very annoying. Now, what we want to do here is bait this guy around here. So, let's uh, he's going to be shielding everybody. So, let's just get a bit of kick-ins in on him there. Get him to pop his shields. Come on, pop your shield. There we go. Flick immediately to your anti-barrier. And I'm going to flick back and finish him off. There we go. There's nice. There's lovely. Okay. Let's uh, start finishing these guys here. Got a few shanks and shonkers. There we are. Goodbye, Dreg Smeg. Uh, can't break up that umbral engram because I'm full for a change. You'll not be surprised to hear. Okay, so that's everybody kill Ed down here. Now, oh look, we've got one dreg up there as well. What a survive. Let's uh, kill him with that. There we go. He's dead. So up here now, we're going to have uh, an overload champion up the top. So we don't have to worry about shields so much. But it's probably best just to pile in immediately with whatever overload weapon you've got. He survived! He survived! Survived that shitbag. Right, up we go and uh, give some kick-ins. There we go. He's uh, already being staggered, which is lovely. Just destroy him. Lovely, destroy him. There we go. Save your ammo on your uh, big weapon as well for the final room, which can be a bit, well, tricky-ish. Did I kill him? Is he dead? Are you dead? Yes, he's dead down there. Good. Right, okay. Door is open into the second room. This is probably the easiest of the three, but be careful here. We have got mines all over the place. Oh, no, that's after this. Sorry, got confused. That's after this room. Right, so you're going to get uh, an overload champion in here as well and lots of dregs and shanks. So just take them all out, really, which is lovely, yes. Bit of restoration there from the sunspot, which is bloody great. Get those sunspots up as much as you can to save your ass. What's great about the Laurel Splendor Helm is it automatically drops a sunspot when you get hit and damaged. So that's why I recommend you use that. If you've got it. Right, okay. Oh, bloody marauders. Go away. Ah, oh, he made me chuck me hammer all over you. I'm going to get it. Thanks very much for my hammer and cop that. Oh, it went through him and again. <laughs> can you believe that hammer rubbish? Right, okay. Let's come up here. I can hear the overload champion losing his shot. So let's sort him out. Let's take out this vandal as well because they're very annoying, the vandals. Couple of hits. Kicking city, that is for you. Marauders, they're very irritating as well. Right, time to flick the old overload and into him. Kill him with the uh, extra, uh, there we go, like a nice lightning bolt there. He just killed him inadvertently. Marvellous stuff. There we go, that should get rid of that shield. Now this is where the mines are, so shoot them as you go. But be careful, there's one around the corner here which will kill you. It doesn't matter, it killed me. There we are. I was killed when I shot it from here. So be careful if you want to keep your revives. You're looking for a flawless. Back right off and kill them. And as well, don't forget to kill all the champions. So you get a platinum, which will make you uh, have more chance to get some goodies at the end. Okay, there is that. This is the final room. In here, we've got anti-barrier, we've got overload, and we've got the big boy as well. Now, the big boy is very irritating and shoots you from up there. There he is, look. So it's kind of best if you shoot him a bit... He's got a he's got um, an arc shield. There we are. He backs off. So it's good to get him out of the way. Otherwise, he's a huge pain in the rectum. Okay. Pull them all off. What you really want to avoid here is the overload champion getting uh, ah. There we go. <laughs> getting thingied, protected by Barry Servitor there. So we just want to try and take him down there. He's got to pop his shield. Come on, pop your shield, Barry. There we go. And uh, I think I'll just go with my super. Kill him off with your super. Because the boss isn't that tricky, really. Have I killed him? Yes. It's nice just to clear out here if you've got it. Because this can be a bit of a headache. Now, old overload trousers is going to be here as well. Flick to your overload weapon. Take him out. Watch out for those swines up there shooting you. There we go. Overload gone as well. How are we doing? Five minutes. Not too bad at all. 46 shots left there. Now then, we want to try and... Uh, ooh, can we go for a flawless here? I don't know. Still haven't died yet, which is lovely. Let's get some of that, some of this. Take them out there. There we go. Yes, have you. There go away, Mr. Shanker. What a shanker he is. So we're going to go around to the top now. And then we just got a collection of bum pipes at the top that we need to kill as well. Be careful of the vandals, because they're a huge pain in the arse. There he is, look. What a pain in the boom hole he is. There we are, finish him. 
If you can, finish him. Oh dear, that wasn't a very clever thing to do. Never mind, I was just taking it a bit easier here because I would, just, would like to do it flaw flawlessly, yes. Let's try for one. Chuck a grenade up there. Go away, you bloody vandal again. Let's get him with a bit of uh, precision damage, which is nice. Uh, okay, and then we just got Bob Trousers left. So let's go and pick up that to... Uh... Oh, no, 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 no. There we go, cop this. Oh, yeah, he's going to have it now. Chips for him. Oh, was it me? The chips for both of us. Whew. Ooh, dearie me. This isn't good. 21 left on it. He's going to have a shield there. Come on, Arthur. Where are you? Ooh, look at him lurking. What a bloody lurker he is. There we go. He's... Uh, ooh. And... Yes! Excellent. Way Flawless as well. There's nice. Let's see if we get a nice gift to... <sighs> Nothing. Can you bloody believe it? Two legendary engrams. So this is, I've run it twice. I got platinum there. I still haven't had it. But this is a nice little setup to complete this. It's not too bad to run and not too hard to do. And it's nice to get these new exotics this early on in the season. Well, there we go. I hope you found the video useful. Nice little guide to get you through there. Let me know in the comments what your setup is and if you've had any luck in getting the exotic. Thank you so much for watching. And I shall speak to you all again very soon. Sausage, eat.